What up, though? It's your boy, Form. Before we get into this story time, I need y'all to do three things for your boy. I need you to drop a like for this video. Everybody who see this video, I need you to drop a like so I can get these, so we can get these videos out to the masses. I also, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Also, third thing, share this on all your social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, Black Planet, Moco Space, Tag, Plenty of Fish, Crush Spot. Woo, boy. Them used to be the spizz eyes back in the day, boy. All the little Tatianas was on there. But I don't care about that because I'm married, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, wifey. But yeah, I need y'all to do that for me, man. I hope you guys enjoy the story time. You got to watch it from beginning to end. Video is hilarious, man. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see y'all in the next game. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back with another Madden Online rank match, man. And look. Y'all been hitting me up about this every time y'all I bop into a stream, somebody else stream my stream. Y'all ask for me to give y'all a little mini story time. So this is what this is, man. I'm going to give y'all another story time. It's story time. Ooh, hopefully if I figure it out by time, story time. Boom, flash across the screen in big letters. If, if it did not, I didn't figure out how to edit that part. I ain't got that part in my edit game yet. But yeah, man, look. Let me just just let your boy explain, man. Let your boy explain. So look, I'm a good person, man. I love the Lord. But what I did here was not was not what good people do, fam. Now look, I've always been one of them kids. Like, even as a kid, I, I eat people food, fam. Like, I eat people snacks. You know what I'm saying? Even as a grown married man, if my wife leave, like my wife got some snacks and your boy feeling snacky, I'm a, I'm a partake. I'm a dabble a little bit in the snacks. So this had to be about 10 years ago. And I was in a relationship with another lady. And I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, say her name and all that because your boy happily married now. But uh, she had a son, a really young son. Son name was Aaron. And everybody who cool me, or everybody who know me know Aaron because you know what I'm saying, I was doing what I was supposed to do. We was living together and I was, you know what I'm saying, taking helping her take care of a little man. So uh she used she used to partake. She would dabble in my snacks. So I only felt it was right that I also be allowed to dabble in her food. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, I was one of them kids, I ate everybody's snacks. You know what I'm saying? I was the kid, like, when your mama go grocery shopping, she like, don't eat all these snacks. But I would get to getting in the snacks early. And I would sneak the snacks. And, uh, you know, a few months would pass, and my mom would just so go clean up my room, and she would find out I done ate all her damn ice creams and hid the paper, you know what I'm saying, underneath the bed. I was hella sneaky sneaks. So, uh... We, enter, we, we, we we kicking in, you know what I'm saying? We go get something to eat. I want to say we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. And we got some... <laughs> we got some wings, right? No, 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 no. It was... Uh, it's a, it, We went to a pizza spot. Uh, called Pizza... Was it was it Pizza Place? I can't remember the name of the pizza spot. It's a popular pizza spot in Detroit, though. So we get the uh, Honey Barbecue Wings. They fire, fam. So I dabble, you know what I'm saying? We eating... Kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Watching the movie. So she's like, I'm sleepy. I'm like, all right, well, you know what I'm saying? Go upstairs get you a little rest. You know what I'm saying? Me and Aaron, we just going to chill. And, and we going to kick it. And so she goes, she's like, yeah. All right, yeah, all right, man. I'm about to go upstairs and take a nap. I'll see y'all when I get up. So I'm playing Madden. This is how long it's going to go. I was playing Madden. I think, no. Madden 13 had me was just about to drop. Yeah. Man 13 was just about to drop. It hadn't even come out yet. So, we, uh, me and Aaron chilling. I think he watching like Spongebob or something on like a tablet. And uh, I think I'm playing, I'm playing Call of Duty or something. So, before she go upstairs, she look at us and she said, Don't y'all eat my snacks. 
First off, I'm a grown man. I'm a grown up. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me and tell me what to do. So I made a decision right then and there. I was going to eat her food. I wasn't even that hungry. But before the simple fact that you came to me with the disrespect, I'm about to dabble all in these vittles. I'm on it. I this, this We on this type of time right now. So we uh she going upstairs and she napping. And, and and I shouldn't have, because to be honest, I I when I made this decision I was gonna eat her food, I was literally still eating my food. You know what I'm saying? So, and at the time, I was like, you know what I'm saying, about six three, like two twenty, two twenty five. Your boy about two sixty nine, you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, about six three, two twenty five. I was in my hoop prime. I'm talk I'm I was a walking bucket. I'm still a bucket. Don't get it confused. I'm still a walking bucket. Bad knee and all. I, I really need to go to the ER. You know what I'm saying? I still ain't been to the ER about my knee. But so me and Aaron, we sitting down. We watching. Uh, <laughs> oh, this story is so messed up. We watch the TV. So I partake in my wings. And anybody who knows, like girls take hella long naps. So she sleep for like a millennia. So I'm, uh, I'm like... I can't believe, in my head, I'm thinking, I can't believe she's going to come at me and tell me not to eat her snacks. She got some nerve. I mean, her food. Let me go eat this food. So I go warm it up. You know what I'm saying? Honey barbecue wings. Got to warm them up before I dabble. So I warm up her wings and I get down on them. I smash them, but I'm smart though. You know what I'm saying? I get, Aaron's young at the time. I want to say Aaron's like, Four or five. So I give Aaron one of the wings. Of course, he he goofy. He oh <laughs> he get down on the wing. He tried to get a second one, but I'm like, hey, didn't your mama tell you don't eat all her stuff? I'm putting it in his mind, y'all. Then she tell you don't eat all her stuff, hey. Come on now, don't be like that. You had one. I'ma eat the other seven. <laughs> so I get down on her wings, right? So about another two hours pass, and she wake up. So when she first come down, you know what I'm saying, we she see us, uh, I think Aaron is laying on me on the couch, you know what I'm saying, watching his tablet. And I'm still doing whatever I'm doing on the TV or on my phone, you know, so probably cheating or something. I was a big cheater back in the day. So uh, no, not no more, though. I, I've changed my ways with the cheats. So uh, she come downstairs. And she uh she gave me a hug and whatnot, and she come lay on the couch with us. About an hour passed, and she like, man, I'm hungry. I'm like, oh, all right, uh, what you want to eat? She was, <laughs> she like, uh, oh, we ain't gotta go get nothing. I mean, if y'all want to go get something, y'all, she didn't cook. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why I did it self consciously. She used to make this rice and steak stuff though. That was that was kind of fire. But other than that, she wasn't big on cooking. So that's probably why. Let's just say that's why I ate her snacks or her food. So we, uh, she go in the kitchen, right? <laughs> and she go to warm up her food. It ain't there. So um, she like, she come in there. You can hear the stumps coming. You ate my food? Who the ate my food? You can hear her yell at in the kitchen. Now, I didn't get scared, but I got startled. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, my God. It was like, soon she yelled, oh, hey, oh, shit. I made a pact with myself right then. I wasn't telling her I ate her food. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't fear. It was just like a startle. So I knew in my heart, I was about to blame this little nigga for everything. <laughs> so she come charging in the living room, and she like, I told you not to eat my food. And I'm really good at selling my lie. So I look befuddled. I'm going to show y'all my befuddled face. So I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm on my phone, I think. So I'm on my phone. This back when they had the, uh, I want to say iPhone 5S, and it was little as hell. So, oh, man, my eye watering. But, yeah, so I'm on my phone, and then she come in. I thought I, I act like I didn't even hear her. Like, she just did scare the hell out of me from the kitchen. So I act like I didn't hear her. And then she like, you ain't my food, bet. And then that's how I looked up at her. I was like, what? 
No, you said you didn't want us to eat your food. So, and plus, I had my own. You know how big those uh, wingdings be from uh, Happy's Pizza. Anybody from the D know Happy's Pizza. I'm like, you know how big the wings be from Happy's Pizza? I'm not about to eat yours too. I'll be bloated in the mug. <laughs> see, the key to lying to people is throwing the joke. But see, they start thinking, well, if he joking, he can't be lying. Lying my ass off. So <laughs> she was like, you didn't. So, baby, it's only us. So now I got to think fast about my lie. I'm like, no. Aaron ate your, uh, your wings. So she, she like, off top, she don't believe Because the nigga's four or five years old. He not about to polish off. <laughs> this, that, this story's so bad because the part I'm about to tell y'all is terrible on me as a person. So, I'm like, yeah. Uh, he went upstairs. He uh, came down. And he said he wanted some chicken. And I'm like, your mama told me uh, not to eat her chicken. And he said he went up there and asked you. So, when he said that, I'm like, oh, you sure? And he said, yeah. So, I went ahead and I made, I warmed up the chicken for you. I mean, for him. So she already hella suspect. Now, once she went and yelled, Aaron played it smart. Even though he didn't really do anything, he went upstairs. So she called for him, Aaron, come downstairs. So this big headed nigga <laughs> walked downstairs. And she was like, Aunt Love. <laughs> this is how cold I finessed it. Remember, I gave him a piece of chicken earlier. This nigga got barbecue sauce all around his mouth and shit. <laughs> he looked guilty as hell off top. Oh, my eyes. This nigga got barbecue sauce and stuff all around his mouth. So as soon as he come downstairs, she looking at him. My mouth clean. I just clean as a whistle. My nigga, I didn't wash my face and everything. So she asked him, Aaron, did you eat my chicken? This nigga, cold heart, cold said, yeah, because I gave him a piece, but he ain't, he a real nigga. Shout out to you, Aaron. He didn't say, James gave me the chicken. He just said, yeah, I ate the chicken. He don't know this nigga that messed up. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking that's her son. You know what I'm saying? Her only son. Now, look, let me explain something to y'all. I was helping her raise Aaron. Like, that was my little man's. At all my people, everywhere I went, I had Aaron with me. I was raising him like my own. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking because he's the only child, she just gonna yell him, "What, Aaron? I told you not to eat my chicken. You're on timeout, Mister. You know, like you know, like like, like white people do." So, uh, she wasn't on that time at all. She snatched that nigga up so quick and got the whooping that nigga. Oh my God, y'all. You should have seen my face when she got the whooping this nigga. I was in disbelief. I should have called CPS because she had no business hitting that boy. But she got the whooping that nigga. And I was like, oh my God. I 100% made the right decision not telling her I eat that chicken. Like, there's no telling. Y'all, she might have tried to attack me. So, like, soon she hit that nigga, I was, I was befuddled immediately. Like, my head was turned while she was like, because, like, the couch is right here. TV and stuff right here. It's a stairway because we was living in a town home that went upstairs. Aaron was on the stairs, barbecue sauce everywhere when she started getting on the nigga head. So... She turned and looked at my like, Aaron, you ate my chicken? And all you heard was, <laughs> nigga, I turned them on like, oh, shit. She whooping this nigga something crazy. So I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, hey, babe, stop, stop, stop. He didn't know. You know how Aaron be, man, when he be on this tablet, baby? You know how he be. He probably wasn't paying no attention. This nigga crying good. Good, good crocodile tears. So I come in. Now I'm the hero, y'all. I come pick Aaron up. Come here, man. Don't worry about it. You want uh, you want some ice cream? That's how you get kids to stop crying. You either offer him ice cream or McDonald's. And he loved McDonald's. 
but I offered him ice cream because I'm not paying for no McDonald's and you just got a whooping. You know what I'm saying? That's not good parenting. So I'm like, you want some ice cream? He immediately stopped crying. Yeah. I tell my wife, like, baby, stop. stop. What, what, like, were you stressed about something? Come on. You know what? Go upstairs later. I'm going to run out and get you some more wings. Not only am I, like, good parenting now, I'm a hell of a boyfriend. Because not only did I save Aaron, I'm about to run out and get you some more chicken. That chicken was delicious, my nigga, though. I'm not even going to lie to you. I went, I got her some more chicken. Aaron stopped crying because I came back, you know what I'm saying, hit the freezer. I, I got him some sherbet because sherbet is the best ice cream. Orange sherbet is fire. Hit him off with the ice cream. And then uh, we laid down on the couch as a unit, you know what I'm saying, and we and we kicked it and we chilled for the rest of the night. She didn't know the truth that I lied on him until like a year later. Like a year later, I made. A, I was on Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to find the comment, the uh, status I made where I, we was doing this game on Facebook called Confessions. And one of my confessions was I lied about eating my girlfriend's food, and because of it, my uh, my uh, I used to call him my, my I used to call him my son. But uh, I'm like, Aaron got a whooping. So she coming like, are you serious, babe? I was so angry at him. And I whooped him because of you. And I said, that's your fault. That's not good parenting for you to whoop that boy for eating the chicken. But y'all got to understand, like, she scared me, bro, when she yelled like that. You don't yell at nobody when they playing the game or trying to cheat on their phone. It startles them. I'm not mentally there. I'm not ready for that. So, so yeah, that was her fault, y'all, man. She, she low-key, she brought that on herself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would say, man. But, yeah, man, <laughs> I'm not that good of a person for that. But it's a hilarious story, though, man. <laughs> if y'all want to see more story times in the future, man, let your boy know, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with <laughs> That nigga got a good whooping. I, pre I appreciate y'all rocking. <laughs> oh, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.